Welcome back to the Viani Esports Twitch channel. We are live from our esport room at St. John Viani High School. And we have a couple matches today with our summer camp with all the middle schoolers that are currently present and uh, looking at Viani. So we hope you guys enjoy today. We're going to be live for most of the day today. And it should be uploaded to our YouTube channel after, uh, after today so everyone can watch it. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We're going to have a, a great match between these middle schoolers. A lot of these kids have never played this game before, or if they have, it's never been on keyboard and mouse. But we have everyone here playing on keyboard and mouse, mostly for the first time, which is just awesome for, the, for these kids to learn it and for our eSport program to hopefully one day um, get all these guys to come over here to Viani and, and play for us in the Five, future. Four. We got a good match today of Rainbow Unicorn versus the Dragons, not chosen by coaches, chosen by the students. And here we go. We got Ryan on the bottom and everyone else on top. This could be interesting as we got a Hanzo from the side that could pick off all the squishies very easily. So it looks like they're just going to hold a choke here and just keep shooting down and see what... The Rainbow Unicorn does, and Hanzo does get a pick on the Sigma, and the Diva does kill the Reaper here, so that is going to be a lost fight, unless they want to try to push up before V6, but it looks like they're just going to try to reset, maybe try to get a couple picks in before their respawns come back. So Mercy's going to get a res here off the Hanzo, and they're going to have six heroes left, so they should push up. Their tank should be in front to push up if they kind of want to take some space here, but this Rhine is up very far, but it looks like the Hog... It's going to go in the right room and come back out. But then it looks like they're just going to hold the little choke right here. But we do got a Hanzo ult coming in. And it's going to do a lot of damage. It does take out the Baptiste. The Ryan does get the Sigma. And it looks like the Dragons are taking the early lead here. As they're going all the way up to their spawn to try to hunt down that Mercy here. <laughs> it's just going to shield him back to his spawn. Not going to swing at him. He's just going to shield him back and then come on back. So let's see what Rainbow Unicorn can do here. See if they want to push up at all. But this Ryan is playing very far up. If they all wanted to target him, they could probably break his shield. But Hanzo does get a pick on the Sigma. The Lucio is kind of far up here. But once again, they are down, but they just got a res off. Let's take a look at the, the Hanzo on Rainbow Unicorn here and see if they want to. Try to push up, try to get a pick off of this other Hanzo, who keeps picking off their team one by one. Just gonna keep getting some fighting here. The Ryan is gonna charge in, it looks like he's gonna take out the Hanzo. Trying to get in here, get the Sigma, he's gonna swing at the Sigma, try to get him, but he's they're both at low health, see what can happen here. And he does get the Sigma, but it does look like the dragons are taking a little space here. If they can get over to site and take the site, they did get a few picks off. So if they want to take the site here, they should be able to. With respawns, but it looks like all the respawns are coming back, so they won't be able to. The dragon does come out again. This Hanzo's doing a lot of damage to the other team here. But, oh, the Ryan tries to get him again. He might be able to if he keeps swinging at him. No, but it looks like he's going to back up in time. And the Shatter does come down. The Reaper goes down. The Rhine is down. The Sigma is on the right side with the Mercy and the Baptiste. Got a minute left. And the Lucio ult does come out. See if they want to push up on that when they got extra health. And the Sigma does ult with no health. See if the Hanzo can survive here. And they did take out the Sigma. So it's going to be very hard for the attackers to, to take the side here as they're pushing them all the way back to their spawn. They got it. They really got to coordinate here. The, the Rhine does get pinned here. He's at very low health, so it didn't do too much to the opposing Rhine, Reinhardt. So they're holding all the way back in their spawn. To put it lightly, this is a roll from the defenders. We do play both sides of the map here. We are on competitive rule sets, so we can see what the defenders here will do on attack, see if they can have as much success. But the Reaper ult does come out, doesn't get, oh, does take out the Hanzo. Another Reaper ult comes out, just trading kills here. See what this Hanzo can do against the Bap. The Bap has to get to the point. Oh, he's going to try to drag in him, and he does take him out. 
and the dragons do win the half with no ticks taken. Zero to zero. Switching sides. Initiating match. So we're going to see what the uh, the dragons can do here. See if they can have as much success on attack as they did on defense. Just a reminder to everyone, this is our eSport camp with all of our middle school guys in here this week. And this is their final day at eSport camp here at Viani High School. If you are interested in sending your kid to eSport camp, we will have another session next week. Um, so just look it up on Viani.com. You can find it there and see if uh, see if anyone will be interested that you know of. Still got a couple open slots left, I believe. So looks like we're going to be running out a similar comp here for the dragons. Looks like they're going to be holding a little different strategy. They're going to be holding sight a little bit, but the Reinhardt is going to go up a little bit. Let's see if the Dragons can do anything here on attack with Rainbow Unicorn holding pretty much on sight because they don't want them to take a tick. So they are bringing out an Ash here. They got an Ash and a Hanzo. Pretty interesting comp. Could work, um, but it looks like they already picked off the Reaper. That's already a 5v6 for the dragons here. The Ryan's going to be pushing up, but he has no health, and he's not getting any healing. He's getting a damage boost, but if that Mercy hits the left click, he could get a little healing. There it is. It comes out. He's at 100 HP, and if that's wrong, yep, that's pretty much going to be it for Rainbow Unicorn. As the dragons do take... The first map. So we will be going to a map two. I think we're gonna be on Route 66. We're gonna give these guys a little bit of a little bit of time in between to debrief and see if they can do anything better. And we will see you in a few minutes for Route 66.
Ready for battle. We are back for map two on Route 66. We have a lead from the Dragons of 1-0. We are playing a best of three, so if they can take this map, Attackers in we will be done with the stream. We'll probably go over to a Valorant stream, which will be which will be awesome for these guys. Uh, just a reminder, if you're uh, new here, you can drop that, that follow. We're always looking for new followers to grow our community. But this is a live stream of our eSports summer camp here at Biani High School. And we, all of these guys, most of these guys have not uh, touched keyboard and mouse before when playing, so this is some of their first times playing on a keyboard and mouse with Overwatch. So we are going to have the Dragons on defense here first. Oh, he's going right for the spawn of the Dragons. They're going right in into their spawn and see if this can work well for them. They are getting a lot of healing. The Immortality Field does come out for Rainbow Unicorn. And they do get a pick on the Ash. And the D.Va is also down. So they're already up now 5 versus 4. Ryan is getting a lot of healing from the Lucio. He is being pumped by the Lucio and the Mercy. See what they can do here. But this is a great response so far from Rainbow Unicorn. If they can come out and push forward because they know they are up and they have a spawn advantage. So they should be up 6 to 4 right now. But the Dragon's coming out already and it's going to be... A 4K for the dragons. Coincidentally, off of the Hanzo Ult Dragon. So they're just going to keep holding the spawn and see if they can just wait them out. Two minutes and 50 seconds. The Immortality does come out for Rainbow Unicorn, but the Ryan Shield's almost broken. The, Ro the Roadhog is at a half health. He needs to get some healing down. But this Hanzo is just doing way too much damage that Rainbow Unicorn just can't even respond to. The Diva does get d max, so we got a 5v5 here, but the Hanzo does come back online. The Hog does go down. The Reinhardt's at a low shield. He's trying to push out with his team. But his team can't really go out with how much damage this Hanzo and this Reinhardt are doing. Along with the Ash. So the Lucio does come out, so they're going to have a lot of health to work with here. And they're just going to start swinging away, keep doing so much damage. Both shields are broken, so they can't do anything. The dragon comes out again, and it's going to be two kills. The Roadhog ult does come out, see if you can push them back a little bit from the spawn, but the Reinhardt's just going to keep holding their spawn. And he... Oh, and he did get the hook off during his ult. That could be a momentum shifter here, especially with the window out. See if they want to push out here. But the Shatter, or the Charge just come out, the Reaper ult comes out. And it's going to be another one fight for the dragons. Interesting to see what Rainbow Unicorn can do here. They need to push out. Just keep holding W on these guys. And the Shatter tries to go down with the opposing Ryan. Just charges him. It's the second time that's happened. No Shatter's been able to come down this game. They got a minute 30 left. Here comes another Shatter. As I say, one Shatter does go down. The Reaper is at half health. They just need to back out. They need to back out and come out as a full six. Especially... With this charge now down and his shield down now, they can do a lot of damage if they can kill this Ryan here. They're going to have to back up a little bit. Rainbow Unicorn's going to have to come out. And they're going to try to push the cart. See if they can come out here. The Bob does come out. They are getting some picks, but they're just returning it with the, uh, the Dragon ult. The Bob Gult does come out from Ash. And they're just going to keep backing into a corner, backing into their spawn. They can't, they can't do anything. They are not able... To do anything here in Rainbow Unicorn. The Diva ult comes out, see if that does anything. Nope, Ryan was able to shield it. But they have 30 seconds. I see a Bastion pick has come out. That might be able to get them through, but the Hanzo just counters him. The Hanzo counters him so easily. It's gonna be the last fight for them. They are getting a lot of picks. They might be able to come to cart here. The Ryan is trying to charge and he comes in. Shatter comes out, which does get the BAP. And takes away the healing to the Reinhardt. The Bastion wants to go in. Form here. Yep, he is trying to burn the shield here, but we do got a little bit of a cart moving with the Roadhog on the cart. But he does get charged. He might need to heal a little bit if he has it. Yep, the heal does come out, but they got second left, and they are in overtime. Reaper ult comes out. I think he preemptively used that. He doesn't get the Lucio, but that is going to be the end of round one. Score zero zero. 
Switching sides. Initiating match. So now we are going to switch sides again and see if Rainbow Unicorn can play defense. Ready for battle. Reminder, if this is the last map on Overwatch, we are live from our eSport room at, at St. John Vianney High School. If you or any other people are interested in our eSport camp, it is open to all middle schoolers, and we will have another camp next week. So if you are interested or know anyone, let them know, and you can head over to Vianney.com for more info. These kids are having a blast this week. They're learning a lot about esports and gaming and how they can get better. And yesterday they were doing a lot of aim labs and learning how to warm up for games. And it looks to be paying off today for the Dragons. But they are going to come out swinging first. All they need to do is get the cart where Rainbow Unicorn was able to get it. And the Hog looks like it's going to go down early. The Reaper tried to back away. But... There's just too much damage from the dragons. They do have a Bastion out, see if I can do anything for them, but with the Hanzo, the Hanzo counters them super well, and the Ryan just charged them, and it looks like he's going to go down, and it looks like it's going to be a 6v3, and it could be the end of the map. we got a little Mercy fight going on here between the two Mercies. See who can be victorious, but it's going to be the dragons who do take the second map. Check out the play of the game here real quick. Play of the and of course, it is going to be the Hanzo, who was slaying out with his dragon ult for the dragons. Got a, a 4K here for Griffin08 or Hanzo. And we want to thank you guys for checking out our Overwatch stream today. We should be back later today for our Valorant stream, so make sure to tune in for that.
And we are back. We are actually playing a couple more maps. We did switch up the teams a little bit for both of the guys. So we are going to see how switching up a team works. So thanks for staying tuned, everyone. We appreciate it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. Um, it's going to be up on YouTube. should be after today when we upload it. So... Hopefully all the all the uh, campers here can show their parents and what we do here, and we really appreciate you guys for coming out. So we're going to start. It looks like the majority of the defense is going to be on the high ground here, and the Rhine is going to be on the low ground. They do have a Bastion that they pulled out, and they got a Rhine and Sigma. So they are going to drop down a little bit. The Rhine does go for a charge, but does miss it. So they're going to have to push through the choke here. He does get the Genji. That is a huge pick. And the Rhine does go down. Reaper goes out. So we got a 6v3 here. The Mercy does try to res. The Mercy does go down. Still 6v3. And they're going to try to take the point with the Reinhardt here. So I don't think they realize that the Reinhardt is actually taking the point. And it just might be the Lucio back. But we can see how well he does. He's going to get a little contestion here. With the Genji. The Genji did come back in time, but the Lucio goes down. We got the Genji and the Reaper left. And it is going to be a one point for the attackers here. So Rainbow Unicorn did win the cart, and they got to make it all the way. The Reinhardt and the Mercy are here, but it looks like the Rhine is going to go down. The Mercy needs to back out if she wants to stay with her team, along with the Hog. They got to group up together. Looks like there's going to play on cart here. The Bastion's just going to kind of go with the cart here. And see if the Ryan can get the Lucio. He does. The Mercy does fall asleep. And a little overkill on the Mercy with the Shatter. But she does go down. And now they are down both healers. So they need to stay back from the fight if they want to win the fight. Interesting Ana choice here. We haven't really seen an Ana much here this week. Ana's a little... Harder character to learn, so glad to see that the campers are trying something. But we do got a bashing on the high ground that is very hard to counter, especially when Ahanzo isn't able to kill him. And bashing does get a 3k for the dragons. And the defense looks like they're going to take it. So the defense do win the fight, and they got 4 minutes and 15 seconds to hold off. And see if they can win the half here. So Lucio does take out the Rhine here. They are going to try to group up a little bit, but that Bastion, they really got to group up. So we got a Bastion ult and a Lucio ult coming out and a Hanzo ult coming out. We got three ults coming out for the Dragons, and it's a 3k for the Hanzo once again. So Rainbow Unicorn is out here. And they are taking the point by storm with their three ultimates used. But after this, they don't they don't really have any more ultimates left. The closest is Reinhardt with 50%. We can see if the dragons want to do anything here. Try and take back the point before it gets to the second point. Because they do have some ultimates. And the Bastion ult does come out. See how he can use that. He is at a very low health. And the Bastion just takes him out. So we just got a Rhine Hog fight all the way down here in their spawn. See if he can take him out. He is all the way down. He might chatter him. Nope, he did chatter him, and he wasn't able to get it. But that Hog is all the way, all the way down there. You're not going to be with his team for a little bit. Oh, Reaper does come out, but the Hanzo is able to take him out right away. That is two canceled ults in a span of 30 seconds. The Reinhardt is trying to charge in, but he doesn't. Doesn't get anything there. But there is a Baptiste right behind him. I don't think he sees him. And uh, somehow, <laughs> the Reinhardt for the attackers fell off the map. Not really sure, but they are getting a lot of picks here. Looks like it's just the Reaper and the Roadhog left. And the Dragon has come out. And it goes through the window, too. See how much damage that does. Uh, does get the Mercy and the Soldier. And the Hondo does take out the Reaper here. This Hanzo is very good at this game. He's cleaning up. The defenders here. So they're just going to keep moving the, the cart forward. 
The defenders are just trying anything they can to try to push time a little bit, try to get time in their favor for whenever they attack. But the dragons do look like they're going to go down here. We've got two meters left, and the Shatter does come down. Maybe they can get something left, but the Rhine doesn't push forward. He shattered five of them, but nobody else is with them. And Rainbow Unicorn does take first half. All three points. Score. Zero to three. Switching sides. Initiating match. Ready for battle. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Incoming. Defend Objective A. Barrier destroyed. Der Kampf ist noch nicht vorbei. Seconds remaining. <laughs> Elementary obligation. <laughs>
objective is mine. Play of the game. Double kill. Triple kill. Oh, let's break it. Damn. <laughs> 